Now, how many infantry resource slots do I have now? 120. Heap of spares now. Nice. 17,000 shards. I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> to buyers soon they'll cancel the contract we all have our place i'm guessing that's just side conversations that we can't do anything about it's not showing any quest markers concentration no i'm thinking concentration looks like it would only be real helpful with ranged Aiming with ranged. Here it is. I couldn't even see this box from the bottom. Ah, I was too late with pressing. A pocket shit storm tour, day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but you'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. I do find that a bit annoying that it improves the accuracy as well. To me, focus should be just to help with your physical aiming. If you are able to aim properly without the focus, you should still have the same accuracy. Just what I think. Now the text part, which this one's a very long one. Hi Ma. My plan was to go camping here f after the AMOS 15 launch. I'd been working OT for the past nine months, so I was pretty frazzled and figured I should take a weekend to relax before crunch started up again. I was setting up my tent when Wyatt's call came through. He said it was an emergency. I called a life spin vert and made it to Denver General in less than 27 minutes. I was too late. You'd already slipped into a coma. Damn. I didn't understand how that could be. But when I told Wyatt to explain, he just kept choking up, waving me towards the care station. So it was a hollow dock that broke the news. How you'd been di diagnosed a year earlier, the adverse reactions to gene therapy and polymer vascular replacements, the six months of mobile dialysis. I couldn't believe you'd kept it all secret from me. Even at the height of crunch, I called you once or twice a week. So you just sat there listening to me enthuse about my latest project or complain about workplace politics and all the while you were dying. It didn't make sense. I marched back to Wyatt, concern, con cornered him and demanded that he explain. He said he hadn't won... That doesn't really make too much sense, the words they've used. He said he hadn't want to distract me. He didn't want to distract me. That I was going, that I was doing important work and needed to focus. You know, as though the latest AMOS launch and the palladium, palladium and rhodium, it would bring back to earth mattered more than the Ma, who was already here. Wyatt kept saying how proud you were of me. 
He even parroted that onwards and upwards phrase of yours. He said I should get back to work. That that's what you would have wanted. That he'd stay at the hospital and keep me informed. I didn't go back to work. I called in. It took arguing my way past two supervisors, a labyrinthine automated HR menu, a human resource AI, and an anal defensive benefits ex executive to activate my personal leave. But I did it. And then I sat at your bedside for the next seven days. I kept thinking of the hospital after the OD at the amphitheatre. Kept thinking that if you came out of the coma, I wanted my face to be the first thing you saw. I have read the one about the amphi amphitheater and him pretty much dying there and being dead for two minutes before being brought back to life. On the eighth day, they pronounced you dead. Damn. After the funeral, I went back to work, but I wasn't really there. I kept telling myself to focus, that it was okay to be there. It was what you you would have wanted. After all, onwards and upwards. But my work fell behind. When my supervisor called me in for an in emergency review, I told myself to play it cool, accept the criticism and promise to do better. It didn't go like that. I snapped and shouted at him and then broke down, sobbing uncontrollably. <laughs> Not surprised. Two minutes and three seconds sec drones later, and I was standing outside the Faro building, blinking in the sunshine, straightening my bunched up clothes, and alert on my focus indicated that I should go home for the day, then report for a dis disciplinary review on Monday. But I didn't go home. Another idea had risen up in my mind. Already fully formed, I guess I'd already been thinking of doing it for a while. I took a life spin to Pioneer Park. Ten minutes of asking around and a truth test to show I wasn't a cop was all it took to make a connection. I went home with the drugs, started using and didn't stop. Duster, snake, skydive, overcast, no razor wing at least. I didn't take calls, didn't show up for the disciplinary review on Monday morning. A friend stopped by the hammered, stopped by and hammered the door until I answered it. When he saw what was happening, he staged a one-man intervention. I agreed to go into treatment, but I didn't harbour any Ill illusions. Use of personal leave was bad. But use of psych SA leave? Career suicide. Sure, they couldn't legally fire me for it, but I'd been around FAS long enough to know they'd find a way. My career was over. I thought I was at rock bottom, but I was wrong, of course. I still had a long way to fall. Damn. Every single one of his things seems to be so sad got four more of them to find
I know I technically don't have to go all the way to it. But I do need to to save. It's about just as far to run here. Run from here than to there as from there. See a side quest over here now. Didn't see that before. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary. I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Dead guards? Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Machines? Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything unusual? Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses. Gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. No, nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. Blasting? You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were torn apart, not blown up. Saravad? What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry, where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I'll look around. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. I love this bit. I love... Might not go there straight away. Love this bit. This one's been sitting here for a long time, so I might do that one next. Eh, I've seen better. That's nice. I think that one's been there since like the start of last stream. I know this stream says only six hours, but it's been eight hours as well. Last stream was nine hours. Save these for the trail. Long legs and lanterns.
kind of. I had OBS issues where I didn't notice it straight away, but my image sent to Twitch froze. My OBS looked perfectly fine, was showing me all the details, everything was working properly, but the image on OBS was frozen. On Twitch was completely frozen. So I ended the stream and tried to connect it again and still didn't work until I closed OBS altogether and had to reopen OBS. Hmm. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. I'm so Hold Outlander! What are you doing here? Looking for Nokoa. Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Huh. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, boys. Wrap her up and oh. tie her down. Slavers. It's a girl! She's armed! I'm definitely armed. There are chains in the cart. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. They were moving slaves somewhere. I suppose slaves are prisoners. This one, I don't think I really need to use this tracking from the focus. Give me a minute, I need to look for the power cable to charge my, put my tablet on charge. It's 5% battery left. There we go, found it. Just fell slightly from where I usually keep it. There we go. I think they were moving them into there. Just have a slight feeling. They didn't really need two the tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nicole's campfires so close to each other. On, stop doing it from this guy. That Nora girl we got in the hole is nice and mean. Don't get ideas. Guys, 
says hands off or you better price it off. Sounds like Nicole is here. And I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. And it sounds like Zaid's behind it. Boss told me to hide in my shack when the buyers come. It's because you stink embarrasses them, you bum. Maybe incoming! <laughs> How? Don't lose her. You take me for a chop? Hiding won't save you. I think it might save me, but it won't help you. Gotcha. Stay sharp. Tell me when you see something. How could he see me though? Anyone see anything? Got eyes on him? Why is that person just... Glad no one saw that. There we go. Grab this while I can. Yeah, I don't need any arrows. I just gotta tough the storm out. I keep forgetting about getting the treasure boxes. I usually buy them all from all the merchants and open them all, but I keep forgetting, except the modification ones. Okay. I'll finish looking up here first. That was odd. wouldn't let me walk um yeah walk around there okay can't go in that building
prisoners. Chained up to be sold as slaves. Please, help us get out of here. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. Do they think that she's like the leader here? Nokoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. Please, help us get out of here. Why wasn't I able to help? There's only three people captured here. I would have thought there'd be more. I'm guessing there's going to be more trouble on the way out. I knew you were going to be trouble, yep. girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men. Let this in. Got him. She got him even better. She finished him off. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. What is his place? How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. How did you get here? How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. Yeah. And after? Of course. Said he was going to sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time and kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. What now? What are you going to do now? The others were in that cellar for months. Oh. The more run down they got, Damn. the harder it was for Zayu to sell them. Yeah, makes sense. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. Okay, sounds good. You're not going back? You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. 